check out my real killjoy turret but what is up everybody my name is cam cam and i'm a radiant killjoy man with over 1100 hours played on killjoy alone and today i'm going to teach you guys everything you need to know to be successful on the new ice box this will include setups for all over the map all the post -man lineups you'll need where to put your turret to hold the flank and of course where to use your ultimate to be successful let's jump in here's a few setups you can use on the b site to toast your enemies first i'd like to line up with the left side of this container right here it doesn't have to be spot on and you want to aim your crosshair right here on this little spot on this container and give it a right click throw and it'll land perfectly here makes it really hard to find then what i like to do is i like to put my alarm bot to the right side or i like to put it up top either way it works but i'm going to start by putting it on the bottom right here in this corner then the second molly goes when the barrier drops so you want to back up a little bit right here and when this barrier drops you throw your swarm on the right side of this container it bounces off and it'll land on this box right here then for the final thing i like to put my turret here so this turret has the pov of people jumping on top of the container people going left and people going right so it's good to be able to activate your setup here off the alarm bot or the turret either way works perfectly fine and these are where the mollies are look at this you can't stand anywhere on top of this container without getting completely melted and I think it'll catch a lot of people off guard who are running through here and it'll get a lot of damage dealt and even a kill and then obviously you can play anywhere you want you can peek off of this angle here once all the utils popped and try to catch people trying to jump out of the util or you can peek the other side and you could catch people lacking pretty well with this and another setup very similar to that one if people are like catching on to that one is you can put your first molly on the right side corner of this right here and you can put it on the top of this right here with the same alarm bot and similar kind of vibe the people pathing this way will get completely destroyed but it does leave an open spot right here so instead of doing the corner crane spot right there you could do it like this and then the enemies push through they'll get melted out pretty well really really fun to use setup and again you can swing off this and catch the people running backwards to get away from it and catch free shots on people if the enemies are kind of running through your setups or kind of just breaking a lot of it what i like to do is very very simple you just throw mollies right here on the corner behind this little crate so when the enemies run up the plant sure they'll heal the mollies but the second they tap the bomb you're able to stop them and get them off and especially if they do a sage wall plant they'll have like no more room to stand other than right there and you delaying this and getting chip damage on that person makes it almost impossible for them to plant the bomb at the b site just like how it was before so i think it's really strong to run those mollies there if you don't want to do a particular setup and when you do the mid setups that i'm about to show you you can do the, these mollies with that mid setup a little bonus i want to show you guys for the b site is you can put this turret down right here it watches the under tube and it watches inside the tube and you can play this turret and be in range of it all the way over here at b playing off your alarm bot and your swarms from this angle right here so if you look at the map i'm barely in range over here so not only are you holding b control with like your alarm bot and your setup but you also have tube control and under tube control with your turret so it's really good you can just play an angle like this and try to play off your util over here and this leads us into our mid setups all right so this turret right here as you guys saw watches all of this which is really good but it does leave one vulnerability and that is when vipers throw an orb right here it allows the viper to walk up the tube or through the tube which is now covered by your turret but it leaves this area of them walking through this way so you can either sit mid and manually hold that or you can put an alarm bot kind of underneath on the outside of it now i will say this you can put the alarm bot inside the viper orb but they have to basically be stepping on top of the alarm bot for it to go off while it's in the smoke and it's really buggy sometimes so i would not throw your alarm bot in a viper smoke and hope it works but if they're throwing the omen smoke mid oh yeah throw your alarm bot there they can't do anything about it right the second setup i really like to run for mid and i did this in my rank game today and it got me multiple kills during the match you throw your turret right here on the very left side so you can see where this holds and where this will activate it'll activate when people are peeking give or take anywhere over here so what i do is i'll literally sit this corner right here and the second the turret shoots i go peek on this guy so they're gonna be all the way out mid committed out wide with no cover before this turret shoots leaving them completely in the open and vulnerable so you can peek off this turret and get a kill catching people completely slacking and if you want to put this turret a little bit more to the left or whatever you'd like to do to be able to peek off of it then you do so and the fun thing about this turret right here is not only does it hold all of the mid control and people doing that but if people smoke it and walk up the tube there's now a window how nice of riot games to add that for us killjoy mains so there's a window here now that when people walk up i've had people shift walk up get caught by the turret and then i peek out over here and kill them it's hilarious because they just don't expect this window to be here since the map just got changed but again this leaves one 
vulnerability with the viper orb being here they can shift walk into that and go underneath so if you do want you can like if they go and throw that viper orb mid you can literally walk up to the viper orb and do this and just put your alarm bot on the other side of the viper orb so that'll completely help you out or you can literally walk into the orb and look for the viper to walk into it and kill them because they're hardly going to expect you to do that but this allows you to completely hold mid control with no one walking through and no one riding through on you and i know as a killjoy man you guys get told to watch mid to prevent that all the time so i got you guys riot games did not really change anything on the a site besides this one small detail that people aren't realizing that i'm gonna abuse check this out they made it this was a flat surface before trust me i tried to throw a hundred mollies on it but look they give us a little ledge to throw our cute little killjoy mollies on it right now so that's a great first swarm to start with second swarm i like to run back yourself into this corner aim your crosshair anywhere right here you give that a throw and it'll lodge the molly underneath this box kind of like this and then you can put your alarm bot a little bit deeper like this so when the enemies are running in and they're committing these mollies will go off and you'll destroy the enemy here's the two turrets i like to run out this setup when you're running in from uh spawn you jump and throw this turret up here and it sees all of the site it just won't see underneath here and the reason why you don't set it on the edge right here is people will be able to break it from all the way back there you kind of want your turret fighting them while they're fighting you while they're fighting the mollies and that's what this does when the people are running in the turret will shoot and you can try to take peeks right but the turret i do like to run a little bit more is i'll throw it up here on this wall and you guys can see on the map kind of where this covers it doesn't cover the right side whatsoever it only covers down the left side so when you do this be a completely aware of that with the new turret update all right but what i like to do is i'll sit right here and the second this turret shoots i'll swing out and take a fight on this guy so what this will look like from the enemy perspective is they'll be running up they'll be clearing this angle right here turret they'll look up to shoot it and you can swing off of that angle and their cross replacement will be messed up for like one to two seconds depending on if like they whiff the turret or they insta break it and you'll be able to get a free shot on this individual right here if you're not blind or something you know what i mean and that's how i'll get a lot of my picks when i play on the a site so you peek out you get that pick and then you sit back again and then when they're starting to push in now you have the alarm bot that goes off and you pop these mollies the people can't be on this generator they have to peek out from the generator right which allows you to force them into the open to get a pick again from that corner and it'll stop the people running into the site and stop them from planting it is really really useful all right if you find them constantly breaking this setup you can always change it a little bit and you can kind of like change how you want to do it so there's two little options i would run you can throw one molly here and then one molly here on this box so when the enemies are running in if they try to swing out backside on you they'll have to run through all these mollies or you can do the molly on the front of the box and you could do it again on the bottom side of this box like this so this one doesn't necessarily stop the enemies from running in but it stops them from pushing back sight on you so you can kind of hold that control of back sight but i do like the one where the molly is more forward on the generator to stop them from pushing in another thing you can do with this setup is you can use these same mollies with the same turret but instead of putting your alarm bot right here you know when the enemies are going to be up here there's going to be people trying to plant there's going to be people trying to swing back sight your turret has the activation on this side as well so you'll know when they're scaling up on you and you can put the alarm bot on this side so when you're playing back sight like this off your util and off your turret trying to peek and take fights you won't get flanked from this side because your turret no longer covers it so that is just in case a backup or you can even play over here off the alarm bot and then swing and take the fight off this alarm bot and then pop your mollies whatever you'd like to do there's kind of a variety but you can still use the same general swarms if there's one thing you remember from this video it is this lineup this is the one attacking lineup you need for the a site while you're attacking so what you want to do is you want to run up and step on this doesn't have to be perfect you can just run up and stop look i'm not even like perfectly on it but it works the same okay and then you want to use your crosshair here pull out your swarm and you want to aim at the bottom of this right here doesn't have to be even close to perfect okay it'll land perfectly every single time regardless then you just give this a throw no nonsense no run no jump look where it lands back generator this little rat corner while your team and you are running up if this corner gets cleared it makes you running up the a site so much easier so you don't have to run up and expose yourself to this angle this angle this angle this angle while you are putting your back to everybody to clear out this single corner so just having that molly being thrown will help you so much so make sure you're using it before i show you guys the postman lineups here's a reminder that if you guys are a sentinel or killjoy main and you're trying to get better at the game and you're trying to improve make sure you guys subscribe because i'm going to be posting a lot more educational content 
highlight content all related to just sentinel gameplay and that includes a new killjoy guide on lotus coming out soon with those changes so make sure you guys subscribe but here's the lineup if you want to line yourself up right here boom doesn't have to be perfect all right and then you want to aim your crosshair right in this general vicinity right here just on this plain gray area all right and you do want to make sure it is to the right of this so it doesn't hit anything so about right here give it a throw this is a really easy to remember lineup and not only does it cover the bomb when it's planted here it covers the bomb when it's planted there so it's kind of an all-in-one coverage lineup for both of the two default spots that people love to plant at. i've tried so many different b post plant lineups ones that fly over but they don't ever hit i've tried so many different things but this lineup is really basic though so all you have to do is come over here into this doorway and you make sure there's a gap in between this container on the left and the containers on the right there's just see, see a little bit of sky all right and you want to aim up kind of like right underneath when the green one and the gray one combine like this and you just run and you throw and it bounces off the box right there and it'll land perfectly default every single time and you'll be completely covered the only one reason you have to be careful here is people can easily break this because they see you throw it all right but you are really close so you can literally run the two the two seconds it takes over after they break the molly and you can go take the peek on this person and try to kill them quickly we're going to run down where to use your kill gel for attacking and retaking on both sides for the b site you don't really want to click your alt down right here because look it leaves this whole area open and all of like kitchen open and snow pile but what i like to do is i like to run up and i like to put it here you and your team are gonna have to fight up you're gonna have to get a little bit of control but after you click this alt down you can just hold the enemies from swinging yellow and you get all of this control and it forces the enemies so far back that you'll probably be able to get a bomb plant for free and if you're on the receiving end of the b site and they plant the bomb you can put your alt down right here but look at all this area it leaves open what i highly suggest you do is fight upwards with your team and put your alt down right here because the enemy team will be forced so far back to the point where they can't even challenge the diffuse unless they have utility on the bomb and honestly you can click this all down and you can just hold the peaks because people are going to be coming and peeking and swinging so if you and your teammates are ready for that you can just kill the people peeking or you can even hide wait for them to start shooting your alt peek off and trade so even if they do break the alt the people will kind of be fought backwards more they'll be kind of pushed back and you can get a kill off the trade of the alt so it works out for the a site there's two different alts you can do really quickly so you can put it in this corner everyone kind of knows this one it forces people all the way back to either jail or playing all the way belt this alt is better but easier for them to run up and fight where this alt over here if you put it up on the staircase it's a lot harder for them to fight but this alt pushes them back way less so they get a lot more space on you so if they plant you know in a spot where they can spam all the way from belt it's going to be really hard to win that round but do whatever you feel is necessary in the moment you know what i'm saying when you're attacking the a site there's only one singular good alt and it is this one right here if you plop it down right here up on top of pipes it makes it so there's not holes here they can't stand there those aren't big enough spots they will be detained up in these corners or if you put your alt down here on the ground it leaves those corner corners that are barely closed they'll leave them open so jet arena will sit inside the site and fight and destroy your team that highly suggests that you just jump up here and it makes it way easier especially since the turret changes where the turret is only 100 degrees now instead of 180 degrees i want to make sure you guys know these turret spots so you can hold the flank so no enemies kind of pick your teammates off and they you know blame the killjoy every time you know who you are um so what you want to do is when you run up you want to just toss your turret right here um so i'll show you from this way so you can easily see um it covers this whole crossway so they can't cross into that door off to the right and they can't swing this way without your turret knowing so none of your teammates will get shot in the back before this turret shoots so you'll at least be able to tell them before they get shot in the back for the a side there's kind of like two to three ish different turrets you can do this is like the the kind of turret where it holds more control so like if they peek out here their turtle shoot if they peek out here the turtle shoot you do have to walk up and clear these corners though if you want to rotate so that can be tough but this one's more of like you you know you're gonna want to rotate kind of turret right where this one is a little bit better is what i like to do is i'll throw it up here like kind of right here so it'll visualize everything you need it to it'll watch everyone coming through and pulling up on the flank on you and have the full visual on that and it gives you the most amount of range into the site 
now you will not be able to plant the bomb without this turret going out of range so i will give the bomb to my teammates to do here and i'll just run up and kind of fight with my teammates here and kind of play trades but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna let this turret go out of range and people really like to flank on icebox so you need to make sure your flank util is on point you can even play back here and just the second this turret shoot swing they're not gonna catch they're not gonna expect you to swing this when the turret's over here they'll be looking the wrong way and you'll get a free kill thank you guys for watching the video and if you guys enjoyed make sure you subscribe if you want to see some radiant killjoy highlights you guys want to come ask me questions i'm live every single day at twitch.tv slash cam cam it'd mean the universe to me if you came over have a good one